What advice would you give someone who wishes to pursue a career in writing or publishing? Read. Read as many, uh, read as much media, consume as much media as you can, because from other people's interviews um, and from you know, understanding the media, you'll be able to formulate your voice and what you're going to add to that. Ran me back to my childhood. It was really scary, quite claustrophobic, but a bit of fun at the same time. The best way of it working is to is to make and to do. And even if you only exist on a Tumblr, or if you exist in if you're an artist and you find a, an empty shop and the guy lets you use it for a week, or you know, that's how everyone starts. That's how I started as well. Would you say you're as much as a curator as you are an artist. I'm a bit of both, but I'm more an artist than a curator. Because curators do things really carefully and I don't. You know, they're professional, they fill in all the forms properly. I just go and do stuff and then have to pick up the pieces afterwards when I've sort of made mistakes. By using objects from local markets and stores, we have produced a piece of public art which reflects the area of Peckham. Does anyone want to come up first and let me plait their hair? Art is like literally anything. I didn't know hair could be art. I think that just the main thing is just to get out there and start doing your own projects. Uh, for temporary projects, you know, permissions are fairly straightforward. Um, it's about building that relationship with your local authority and just going and talking to them about something that you want to develop. And then that's where you'll really get the, you know, the kind of baptism of fire because you'll need to start talking to local people who may have no interest in public art to start with, but hopefully because you're so passionate and dedicated to your idea, you know, you can bring them on board and, and you know, and that's really just how any public art process starts, I think. The thing is with public art, you pass it or you look at it for approximately 10 seconds and then you walk away. We did analyze Trafalgar Square, saw what was existing here, mostly generals on horses. We thought we want to do something about childhood, about the future, not about war, but more about imagination, freedom. We almost forget to play just do something that is for fun. One of the great things with art, there is no right and wrong, really. Anything can be tried out. You're so cool. Public art can be as crazy and wild as imagine. There's no substitute for constantly looking at art. Go out um, to as many galleries as you can. Think about what you're seeing. Try and understand what um, is behind the different works that you're looking at. If anyone's interested in seeing Turner's film. OK, well, we'll pop, we'll pop in there afterwards. Build up your own personal kind of knowledge bank of what art is all about, and then you have your own sort of personal take on that. And I think that as you build life as a curator, um, becomes something that you really fall back on and something that you kind of question but continue to grow and develop. We make artworks, we make most of the sculptural works we'll see around London and uh, quite a lot of the major ones around the world. Uh, whose artwork is it? Is it the artist for designing it or is it the prop makers for making it? Be determined and be dedicated enjoy it. Took them out on the South Bank and they just had a go at doing some of the ideas that they'd come up with from the first and second parts and actually taking it out into the public realm and seeing if conceptually those ideas worked and to see how the public reacted to that and how it felt while you was doing it. And they got fantastic reactions from people so that was great. So when I'm commissioning a new piece of work, then there's a whole mixture of things involved. What does the work need to happen? Um, what materials does it need and what space does it need? Uh, do you need any permissions from anyone for that work to happen? Um, do you need to pass it by any one official health and safety officer, a fire officer? Um, but it's really important that those practical things don't dwarf the original idea. So 
need to keep returning to the idea and, and make sure that the artist is happy with that, how that idea is being communicated. What role does the audience play in your work? When you're a musician or a singer or in a band, you're, you're, you're kind of proving something, so you're in that space, like a venue or whatever it is, so there's, there's, there's all these rules. And what's great about making performance art or showing that in a gallery or in these particular areas is that you, can, you don't have any of them rules and that you don't have to make people enjoy themselves, or, um, which is really good because they're not necessarily involved in critique. What tips would you give to anyone who's looking to become an art critic? The skill of like writing art criticism is a lot of it is very much in the actual writing, the, the skill of writing as opposed to necessarily having a vast knowledge about contemporary art, that you can pick up along the way. I don't necessarily know uh, everything about uh, an artist or the history of an artist whose show I walk into, so the, uh, the kind of trick is to make sure you're a good writer and then being able to explain kind of your thoughts through that writing. So the skill really is, the, the, the tip is to kind of just keep on writing. Um, either it would be that for yourself or kind of and nowadays you can just start a blog. You have a link to be able to send to anyone and just keep on writing, keep on practicing and kind of playing with words. What advice would you give to us 16 year olds about to enter the world of art? I would say just have your own view on things. Don't listen to people too much because they can be wrong as well as right. Just keep going, and uh, at the risk of sounding like some self-motivational speaker, just to believe in what you're doing and just think, well, actually, I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty good, and I'll keep going, and uh, just keep your eyes open and look around you, go to exhibitions, read books, watch films, and be inspired by other great artists. In life, there's all these, these people come into your life, and it's not like being opportunistic, it's just those people are offering you something, giving you something. You don't necessarily understand it at the time, but with me, I, was I, had, I had nothing to lose. I just opened myself up to it and listened to these people, and that I'll always be really grateful for. It.